still here. All right. Uh, I, I don't really don't have much tonight, but this is probably something that will generate some discussion, and I, I'm looking for direction from the board. Um, as you know, we have the Sandown Withdrawal Feasible Study, right? Or the SWFS or SFWS? All right. <laughs> now, um, Sandown has taken it um, on their own to create their own minority committee, which our attorney has told us they have no legal authority. They're asking for all kinds of information. The information hasn't even been provided to the real committee. Our attorney has advised us the only people that can be on the minority committee are the people that are dissenting votes from the real committee. Now, it, whatever it is, it is. I'm just looking for direction from the board because we're going to get fired in with like, they're already asking for like, I think 10 different things that are all going to take hours and hours and hours of all the staff in the SAU. I, I need direction from the board. The information goes to the feasibility study. Are those, do you want me to provide that information, or is that a right to no request from a, uh, from a committee with no legal authority to demand information from the SAU? I, I, I just need some direction from the board. Mr. Bila. I would suggest um, having them go through the right to no process, and um, if they ask for things that, in a, uh, uh, that we either don't have or in a, a way that we don't have them, you know, a, a data assembled in such and such a manner, whatever, the answer is no, we don't have them that way. All right. Mr. Collins? It, um, and I, I also think you could direct them to the, the, the withdrawal committee formed by this board and to make the request through that. I know Mr. Green requested um, an extensive financial report uh, um, that the committee um, request from the SAU and we essentially said that we didn't need that information to do the work that we needed to do. So I can't imagine that they would need that information either. So um, things can be weeded out that way and then if, if they want to continue after that information they can make right to no requests. So. All right. So in the, in the spirit of cooperation, for instance, right, what if Plastow decides they want to have a minority committee? Danville decides they want to have a minority. It's not, Sandown doesn't own the minority That's committee. Correct. I know they think they do, but they don't. They don't. Yeah. Anybody can have, you know, so the minority committee is the dissenting votes from the real committee. That being said, the information is the information. So I, we're going to get as much online as everybody needs because there are a lot of people that aren't on any committees that are watching this and looking at the information too and forming their own opinions. So, but I can't tell you, I looked at that list quickly today and I, I can tell you that that's a lot of work at the SAU and yeah. some of it is probably just extraneous information. Some of it we don't have in the format in which it's being asked, which creates more work. So, well, I know you can just say no, but well, the information is the information we're trying. And, uh, and being perfectly honest, right, there are times, and I have to be honest, there are times when I get requests for something that we might not have in a certain format. And I look at it, and then we end up making, we end up creating it in that format, and then, it's, and then it's more useful to us. So in fairness, that's not all the time. That's just sometimes. Sure. You know? So um, I just, you know, just trying to look as we close the end of the year, as we get all that information out, um, you know, looking for direction from the board. So it sounds like to go through, you're the chair of the withdrawal committee. So to, to direct that to the chair? Yeah. Okay, that, that'll do. And then what we, we have for information, we'll, we'll post. We're probably going to need to put this in one place somehow, some way. I don't know if we're going to have some sort of public SharePoint play. We have it up already. Yeah, that, and that's where we're going to put the, and I, you know, want to make it easy to read right. so that there's real, so people know what they're looking at, so it's not buried six pages, you know, six buttons deep or whatever. Sure. So um, I don't know where we are with that in terms of information. Um, I know we're getting requests from lots of people and just trying to manage them. So. I mean, I, I would think it would make sense to me that all the requests come up through the chair of this committee. And, and that way it's managed better. Similar to what we do with the chair of the school board and, and information coming over to the school side of things. So. Right. Yeah, no, Kathy Belcher has been directed anything that comes into our office to go through the chair, which is you. So that makes sense to me. That's, that's what will happen, but in the spirit of information that we have, I, I just don't, I, I don't even know. That's why I have to see George to see what this means in terms of what do we have, what's easy to put in a site so people can, everybody can have it, whether they're on a committee or not, and then, and then what's additional work. And be able to share that committee because that's what I would believe that if I were on both committees. I've had my hand up for quite a while, Madam Chairman. Share that committee back that that information back and forth mm -hmm. in a collegial, uh, transparent way. Absolutely. But Mrs. Sherman, if you could raise your hand, it would be helpful to up. the process. But I need to acknowledge you, just to be fair. You weren't watching. I try to watch at all times. I do my best. 
Mrs. Green. Thank you. So the 2014 auditor's report has not been released. That was due in November. The financial transparency of this district is abysmal. Point of order. Mr. Green has asked for financial information that is not necessarily available through Right to Know because it's. Was there a question, Mr. Green? I, excuse me. This information, if you do not want a minority committee in Plastow, if you do not want one in Danville, if you do not want one in Atkinson, you should treat the people of Sandown fairly and decently. And if they're requesting information, it, it is not Mr. Collins' purview to deny it because his committee is feckless and doesn't want to do it. Sandown has every right to demand whatever information. This is a service organization to the town of Sandown. Sandown pays your salary and your salary. And they're entitled to every bit of information that they ask for. Irregardless of this feckless majority committee that doesn't want to do a proper job, which is why the minority committee has to be uh, <coughs> established in the first place. Mr. If I could just correct some of the language here, there is no majority and there is no minority committee. They don't exist because there hasn't been a vote. Yeah, you have, just to, have like a, you have to have a vote to have a majority and a minority. Oh, please. It could turn out that the minority is, or the vote goes 5-3, <coughs> in which case there would be three people on the current committee that would then write the minority report. So it's, it's a very odd and awkward thing right now <laughs> that there is a minority committee already formed in the town of Sandown. For the sake of Hold argument. on, Mrs. Green, please. I'm trying to maintain order for the sake of I'm respect sorry. of everybody. All right. I'm sorry. I'm trying to be fair to equal to Thank everybody. You. It could be that there are two or three members of this committee that that if the committee says it's not feasible, which is the only way that a minority report can be formed, if the committee says it's not feasible three people could say it is feasible. And then those three people are responsible for writing the minority report. There is no reference to a minority committee in RSA or any committee other than the one that's formed by this board. That is incorrect. So That is incorrect. It is not <laughs> incorrect. That is absolutely so, incorrect. So the fact that there's one formed and now that they're demanding information from the SAU is really a strange thing to me. It doesn't make any sense, and that's why I'm trying to, to get some order to this. Have them request the information from our committee, and if it makes sense for us to both have that information, which I think is how the process is supposed to work, then we'll go forward with that. But if, if, if we don't see, for instance, there was a request to receive all the capital expenditures for every single facility in the Timberland District since 1965. That's what Mr. Green is asking for. There's no need for us to have that information. And the amount of work that Mr. Stokinger would have to put in to extract that information is not worth the time to do it. And that's what we basically concluded at our last meeting. So, uh, so minority committee, majority committee, whatever you want to call it, there's one committee right now that has the authority to extract information from the SAU. When we make our decision, then at that point, another committee can be formed to write a minority report and then uh, they will would need to possibly make a withdrawal plan blah 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 if the current committee determines it's not feasible and mr collins 